This is a very difficult connection problem for white because white is cut off and is very far from the corner. These two stones are very helpless, right? And of course, black is connected. There's no way white can kill these black stones. If white just tries this, it doesn't work. And now this is simply too far, right? If you try this, then black can cut white off pretty easily. Of course, there are other variations involved with number nine, but the conclusion is that black will be able to kill white in one way or another. So this won't work, but white was actually pretty close, right? It seems pretty far, but that was actually pretty close. We had a stone here and then a stone here which was not enough. But what if we have a stone right here? And if black plays here, this will work, right? This will work because this one space jump here on the first line is very solid. And as we already know, this large knight's extension on the first line is also very solid. Black cannot cut white this way. So if we have one and three, we have the correct answer. And this is the correct answer, right? So you might ask, why does black want to play at number two, right? Can black play elsewhere? Black can play this. And the answer is no. White can now capture this stone. So how does white capture this stone? Back to our capture techniques. Cuts and throw ins. Here, white only needs to throw in. And all of a sudden, number one is setting up this connect and die situation. Right, this is really, really neat. Because white has number one, now white can actually capture black's cutting stone. So that is why black must address white's potential capture with its second move. And now white can play this move and connect like this. So overall, this is a very difficult problem for beginners or lower level amateurs. But once again, because this is a problem, you know it's solvable. And just try different variations, get creative, make sure you spend enough time on this before you watch the correct answer and listen to the explanation. As always, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below this video. Thank you for your support and thank you for watching.